darling, there's beauty and happiness everywhere. Jump up, destiny's calling. You and your friends have so much to share. Swinging through life on this great adventure, the spirit of nature will see you through. There are lessons to learn about life and its mysteries. Lessons of love that are waiting for you. Look up, there's joy all around you. Nature is wondrous, but beware. The law of the jungle has a lesson for life. But you can still soar right up to the sky. Hold your head up high. Keep your courage inside. And sure as the sun and the stars up above, you will discover love. <laughs> Because of you, Mowgli. You're the one who should leave, and if you don't, we'll make you go. <sighs> Lala, what's wrong? It's all your fault, Mowgli. You made my father go. But I didn't mean to, Lala. <laughs> Baloo, did you hear somebody calling out for Vermilion? Yes, Ka, I did. Huh? Huh? <laughs> what are you doing up there, Mowgli? Come on down. I woke myself up with my own yelling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 woke us up too. Actually, you yelled in your sleep that Baloo's a bothersome old ninny. I did? That's awful. <laughs> no, you have it all wrong. It was Claw you were yelling about. Called him a scaly simpleton. I didn't. <laughs> At least I think I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> No, Mowgli. Don't you worry. We were joking. You did call out a name, but it wasn't Carl or me. It was Vermillion. Were you dreaming about him, Mowgli? Yes, it was a nightmare. Oh. Nightmare, you say? Mm hmm. I dreamt he was leaving. He'd come back, but he was leaving all over again. Lala and Dusty were both very angry. I wonder, are they mad at me in real life, too? Of course not, Mowgli. Don't know about Dusty, but Lala sure isn't angry at you. You'd know if she were. Tell me, Mowgli, what set you to thinking about Vermilion again? Bagheera mentioned him a couple of days ago. That cat! 
trust him to open his big mouth. Couldn't talk about the weather. Oh, no, he had to bring up Vermilion. Well, what did he have to say about Vermilion? Gee, it's been a week since the whole thing happened. Bagheera and I had just finished fighting off Shere Khan and Tabaki. The tiger was trying to invade our territory, and the wolves had just been through a terrible buffalo hunt. Everything was going wrong for the pack. That's when I said, I wish Alexander were here. He was the best leader our pack ever had. Yes, and then? And then Bagheera said, don't forget, Vermilion was an excellent leader of wolves too. So that's it. Now I understand. You were talking about leaders and Bagheera mentioned Vermilion. After all, Vermilion was a top-notch leader. And the pack does need one. Do we ever? Baloo, what will happen if we don't find a new leader? Hmm. Can't say for sure, but if the wolf pack doesn't come up with someone soon, I think there'll be trouble. The wolves could even lose their ancestral territory. No, never! We might as well face facts, Mowgli. Baloo has a point. Shere Khan's biding his time with the monkeys and jackals behind him. Now he's sure to invade again. Pa is right, Mowgli. Akela is weak and no other leader has stepped forward. This is Shere Khan's chance to take over. Oh, no! How awful! Then we have to find someone who can take Akela's place. Of course, Vermilion would be perfect. But I have no idea where he's gone. Mowgli! Mowgli, come quick! Kichi, what's the matter? It's terrible, Mowgli! Our lair is being torn to pieces! What? What are you saying? Alpha the monkey chief and his gang are destroying our lair! Huh? Baloo, I think Mowgli may need a helping hand. You're right. We shouldn't lose sight of him. This is dreadful. Those monkeys sure did a good job destroying the place. Uh -oh. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. Now, Baloo, it's not nice to knock down other people's wreckage. Jocko, you say? Why, that miserable little coward. He's a disgrace to the wolf pack. He should have stood up to those monkeys. Huh? You're right. Jocko and Dusty should have stopped the monkeys. But the monkeys shouldn't have attacked Mowgli's lair in the first place. We have to teach them a lesson. And we will, Ka. Now, where's that Bagheera? He's never around when you need him. Aha! Uh -huh. Where have you been, Bagheera? Bagheera! What? Who called me? Kichi? How dare you startle me? Can't a panther have a drink around here? Uh, uh, sorry about that. Mowgli and the others were looking for you. Did you say others? What others? Baloo and Ka. Why on earth are they looking for me? They need your help. They want to teach the monkeys a lesson. The monkeys? Alba the monkey chief and his gang wrecked Mowgli's lair. So Ka decided it was time to set those monkeys straight. They wrecked Mowgli's lair? Alba's gang? Uh-huh. <laughs> Oh, rude 
monkeys. You wanted to make me angry? Well, I'm angry now. Come out, you cowards. Come on. You're not scared of a little man cub, are you? <laughs> What's the matter, monkeys? I'm all alone. Come out and show your faces. The man cub? He just doesn't know when to quit, does he? What are you waiting for? Let's let him have it! Use your hands. <laughs> After him. Don't go, Mowgli. This is fun. You monkeys look even uglier on the ground than in the trees. <laughs> <laughs> After him. I didn't miss the fun. It was clever of you to lure them to the island, Mowgli. They're ready for you now. <laughs> oh. You wrecked my lair. 
And last week you shouted insults at my brother Akru and me. You're not being very nice, Alba. Now why is that? Why, well, uh, I don't, uh, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Think again, Alba. If you can't remember, I may be forced to jog your memory. <laughs> Alba, do yourself a big favor. Tell us what you're up to and I'll let you go. Hi, hi, hi. We're waiting. I'll let her tell. You will. How very wise of you, Alba. Tell us the truth and you'll find we're quite friendly. It was Grizzle the Wolf who ordered us to wreck Mowgli's lair. What? But we chased Grizzle away. You thought you did, but he gets in touch with Dusty and Jocko. Shere Khan is the one who came up with the whole plan. That explains why you monkeys and Tabaki and his jackals have all been hunting on wolf territory. Is Shere Khan hoping to catch Mowgli? Uh-huh. And Dusty and Jocko are after Akela. They want Jocko to take over the wolf pack. I see. This is serious. They're out to control the entire jungle. That's terrible! We have to do something quickly! How about letting you go? Alba, hey. I'm glad we had this little opportunity to talk. Now, if you ever try anything sneaky again, I will personally make sure you regret it. Your friend Shere Khan is a pussycat compared to me. So even if he orders you to do something nasty, you better just say no. Are we quite clear? <laughs> Well, that's the situation. We have to stop Shere Khan from taking over the jungle. But I don't know where to begin, Mother. Well, what did your teacher Baloo say about this problem? Hmm. He said he'd be happy to help us out, but he understands this is a matter for wolves, and he won't get involved unless we ask him. I see. Baloo is a very wise bear. What he says is true, Mowgli. This is a problem for wolves and wolves alone to solve. It won't be easy, but you are the sons of Alexander. You must meet this challenge without the help of others. I know where we can start. We'll go find Dusty and Jocko and confront them. They're certain to give up. And if they don't give up, it won't take us long to get the better of them. Good idea. Dusty and Jocko are traitors to the pack. We should deal with them first before facing Grizzle and Shere Khan. No, I disagree. If we confronted Dusty and Jocko right away, Shere Khan would find out. Why let him know where we stand? As for Jocko, he may want to be the leader, but he's also a coward. He won't be a problem. But last week, before the buffalo hunt, Dusty was already shouting that his father should be the leader. Doesn't that prove that Dusty and Jocko are a real threat? Not necessarily, Akru. I don't really think Dusty and Jocko are much of a threat. Grizzle and his gang of henchmen are the ones that we really have to worry about. Grizzle is a ruthless lawbreaker. He's strong and cunning and he's desperate. You're right. Grizzle is the one we should worry about. Shere Khan is also a threat, but he is too well known in the jungle to try anything without our getting wind of it. Grizzle is less well known. He has years of experience as a sneak and a thief, and besides, he bears us a grudge for chasing him away. That's it then. We'll start by finding Grizzle and chasing him out for good. But we'll need help to do that. Wait. I don't think we should tell anyone about all this. If the wolves learn Dusty and Jocko have helped Grizzle, a fight could break out. And violence is something we want to avoid at all costs. What about Lala? We can tell her about this, can't we, Mother? After all, Akela may be in danger from Jocko and Dusty. Good point. We must tell Akela, too. Even in his weakened condition, he has great wisdom. He may have some ideas on how we can deal with Grizzle. And he is still our leader. He has a right to know. Mother, should Akela have a guard? I'm sure Bagheera or Baloo would do it. No, Mowgli. Wolves must handle this alone. Bagheera and Baloo already understand that. Don't worry. Akela may be old, but he's still sharp. He'll be all right. Besides, Lala is with him. He's well protected. Now, I have one more thing to tell you, and you mustn't forget it. I lead this campaign. What? You, you Mother? Mm-hmm. Well, that's how it stands, Akela. We'd like you to move into Mother's lair for safety. Thanks, Sura. Thanks a lot. What do you say, Grandfather? It's a very kind invitation. 
but I don't think I can accept. I'm happy in my home and I'm feeling much stronger. And I still know how to defend myself. But, uh, Kayla, if you don't move into Mother's lair, I'm gonna wind up in big trouble. You see, she said she'd hold me responsible if you refuse to move. I don't dare let her down. She leads this campaign. What's that? Lurie's leading? Yes, Akela. Please, say you'll move. All right. In that case, I'll move. Oh, thank you, Akela. Wait a minute, Sora. I'm going to have to take your lair. What do you mean? You, you have to stay with Akela. Oh, no. If I stay too near Lurie's lair, that will arouse suspicion. So you can take care of Akela. No one will wonder why you're with Lurie. But, but it's settled. I'll move into Sora's lair. Sora will leave his lair and become Akela's housekeeper in Lurie's home. Yes, Lala. We'll all leave our homes for a while. But remember, if Jocko comes looking for me, I'm not hiding. I'll defend my job as leader until I hand it on to a worthy successor. But, Grandfather, you're still the best leader we have. Listen, your mission is to find where Grizzle and his gang have their hideout. Once you do find it, you must resist the temptation to attack. You will return without being noticed and make your report. I will then decide on what our strategy should be for defeating the Marauders. Move out and good luck. Lurie is a magnificent commander. I only have to close my eyes to remember the exploits of her youth. It's no wonder Alexander fell in love with her. I admire her so much that I want to help out somehow. Mm, yes, I think we should help, but we can't let Lurie find out. We'll keep it secret. Take good care of you. 